One thing that I've become fascinated with in recent memory is RNG. And electronic games do this too, not just video games. For those who don't know, virtually anyone who like plays video games, like especially roguelikes, should know. RNG stands for Random Number Generator. Simon Times utilizes this. And I know people are going to say, I think a few people have said that modern Simons do not do this. Modern Simons are pattern-based, somewhat. But they still utilize a form of RNG. Like, for example, um, what's a good example? The swipe. The swipe is always at the first level on levels. I think it's signal one, signal two, and then swipe. The pattern is relatively the same, but, like, the colors are never the same. It's always the same kind of pattern, I believe, on the swipe. I think the air and optics do this as well. But for the most part, especially old time games like Trickster right here, it's RNG. I'm going to show a, a great example of RNG because, actually... The Trickster does not just have one color for each lens. They are multicolored LEDs. I believe they have multicolored, uh, they have more than one LED. The best example of this is Simon Surprise, which is button, uh, this button right here, button number three. Um, it's kind of complicated at first, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me actually dim the lights here a little bit, get the lights to show up better. Simon Surprise. You'll see what I mean. Go. Now say I mess up Later. and start a new run, which I will. The color is random every time. Go. Let's see what I get this time. Yep, that's regular yellow, I believe. Later. I'm gonna try and show as many pa as many colors as I possibly can because there's a wide variety of patterns on uh, uh, colors on this one. Go. Not sure if it's showing up on camera. Yeah, it's not. But typically when it does white. Later. Or any really clear color. Actually, I can kind of see hints of green. Let me see if I can get the show up on camera. Yeah, I can see kind of like a greenish blue in there. Let's see what the next one is. Go. That's the same messing up on purpose. Later. It's random every time. This is actually important to the context of, of, under, of understanding Simon. Go. Especially, especially the trickster. For example, that's a slightly darker blue, like more like a royal blue, not traditional blue, if I remember correctly. Later. I know this is stupid for me to like mess up repeatedly, but I want to show at least most of the colors that are uh, possible. Go. I don't see that one that much. That's like orange. Later. Again, most people would assume that I'm wasting time, but I'm, I'm really not. Go. Because there are color combinations that I'm trying to show. Later. It's failing faster to make it go by faster because it, it'd be easier to do it that way. Go. That's a slightly uh, brighter yellow, like almost gold. Later. Again, people would assume that I'm being stupid by doing this, but it's actually very scientific. Because there are color combinations, I'm trying to find one. Go. Have you seen that color before? Go. That's a very dark red, like a royal red color. It's pretty cool, actually. Later. I'm trying to show all of them. I don't remember exactly how many there are, but I'm at least trying to show like a combination color. Go. I think I see a little bit of red in there. Later. I'm trying to find a, an actual color combination because they do exist. Go. I think that's, that's, uh, Periwinkle, which I believe has, um, Later. oh, that time I actually didn't, mess, didn't mean to mess up. Yeah, I can kind of see a few different colors in there. Let me see if I can find, like, an actual color combination that shows up on camera, one that will actually show multiple LED colors. Go! It's very hard to tell. I think that's just white again, by the way. Later. Can I get one color combination to show up on this run, please? Go! Shh, shh, shh. 
believe that's Periwinkle again. It's not purple. Later. There's Periwinkle and there's purple. Go. That's a uh, slightly lighter blue, I believe. Later. A little bit lighter than, say, the royal blue that I saw. I think it's a little bit lighter. Go. Um, I think that's purple. Yes, I can kind of see color combinations. It's very hard to tell, but if you look closely... I think I see... I see more than one LED color in there. Later. Um, let me see if I can get another color combination. Yeah, you can see, like, two colors, in a way, to make that color up. Go! Uh, it's just... No, that's... Yeah, it's just yellow. Later. Go! Um, is that cyan? Later. It's very hard to get these to show up on camera because the lights are sometimes too bright. Go. That's red. That's the dark red that I've seen earlier. Later. You know what's a better example of this? Um, let me do demo mode because if you put it in demo mode, it actually shows all the lights at once. Let me do that now. That'd be easier, because it, it will show up on the uh, demo mode. Let me see if I can get it to show up. Simon Trickster. Yeah, you, it's it's very, it's too bright to see all of them, but when it does the uh, multicolor, like the flashing animation, not this, but uh... Simon Trickster. Yeah, you can kind of see that. But they are multicolored. There's like different LEDs in each, in each lens. I believe, I believe there's, I believe there's four LEDs per lens, and that's kind of impressive. It's very impressive, especially for 2005. But yeah, I thought I'd show this off because not a lot of people actually know that, except for the hardcore electronic gamers out there. So this is Earthworm Joe 94 signing out.